What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on the second round of the NHL playoffs. The first round, in my opinion, was amazing. Even though my team got knocked out early, I've been watching the playoffs and a lot of the series and a lot of the matchups were great. I wasn't expecting to see who advanced. I wasn't expecting them to advance, but in the previous video, I did state that a lot of the matchups for the first round honestly could have went either way and a lot of them didn't go the way I thought they were going to go but I'm happy of who advanced and I'm excited to see what this means leading forward to the playoffs for the rest of the playoffs and to see who's going to win the cup this year so I have these second round matchups in front of me let's get right into this first up is Carolina Hurricanes versus New York Islanders honestly for Carolina to knock out the Capitals who won the cup last year says a lot for them it, even though it came down to the last game, Capitals did one hell of a run. Uh, for the Hurricanes to beat them, uh, the champion from last year, honestly, I thought the Carolina Hurricanes were the underdog for this matchup, but they advanced, and New York Islanders, we already know what happened there. 4 nothing against the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Penguins didn't even win a single game. That says a lot for them. But for this matchup here, Carolina Hurricanes versus New York Islanders, I'm going to say New York Islanders. This one is super easy for me. If New York Islanders can win 4-0 against the Pittsburgh Penguins, who won the cup back-to-back -back a few years ago, I think if they can beat them 4-0, that they can beat Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina, in the first round, I thought were the underdog against Washington Capitals. They beat them, but for this one here, I feel that they are the underdog as well. So I'm going to say New York Islanders 4-0. Next, we have Boston Bruins versus Columbus Blue Jackets. Boston beat Toronto. I did want to see that happen. Sorry, Toronto fans. But with that being said, for the Toronto team this year, I do respect what they've done. They, Even though they didn't advance to the next round, they did great things this year. They had a hell of a year, and we should be happy for that. So I do respect them. Even though I don't like the team, I can respect them. But against Columbus Blue Jackets, who won 4-0 in their series, that was awesome. Against the top team this year, in fact, against uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, who was the top team for 99% of the year, they beat them 4 nothing. That says a lot for Columbus Blue Jackets. For this matchup here, it's going to be very interesting, and honestly, I feel like it could go either way. But Boston Bruins, if they advance, I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that, but I would rather see Columbus Blue Jackets advance. They have so many. Both teams have great players and great things going for them. But Columbus Blue Jackets, I would like to see them advance this year. So that's my pick right now. I'm going to say it's going to be 4-2. Uh, Boston Bruins may get more than two wins, but I feel that's a safe route for me is to say 4-2 for Columbus Blue Jackets. Next is the Western Conference. We have St. Louis Blues versus Dallas Stars. This isn't the matchup I thought was going to happen. I thought it was going to be the Jets versus the Predators. That obviously is not happening because St. Louis beat the Jets. The Stars beat the Predators. But in this match here, St. Louis Blues versus uh, Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars has a great team, a lot of great players. They've been doing great things on the ice this year. So it's no wonder that they advanced uh, in that matchup in the first round. I thought it could go either way, and it didn't go the way I wanted or the way I thought, but I'm happy that Dallas Stars are advancing. They're a great team this year. And against St. Louis Blues, who have one hell of a rookie goalie right now, they have other great players as well, but that goalie is on fire and has been for a while now. So... Um, honestly, I'm going to say St. Louis Blues, and I'm going to say it's going to be 4-3. I think this one here may go down to the last game, I'm gonna, but I'm going to say it's going to go for the St. Louis Blues, because to me that makes the most sense. They've been on fire, and I didn't expect them to advance. I thought the Jets would advance, but I'm going to say the St. Louis Blues are going to advance in this matchup here and go on to the uh, semifinals. The last one here is San Jose Sharks versus Colorado Avalanche. This is another one that I didn't expect that to happen. The Sharks beat out Vegas in the last in, in the last game, not last game, uh, in the last game in the first round, which I can respect Vegas this year for their second year in the league uh, to make the playoffs again is awesome. They didn't advance this year. They didn't do as great in, in the playoffs like they did last year, but they still did great things. The Sharks advanced, and then Colorado beat Calgary Flames, who I thought would possibly win the Cup this year. That's obviously not happening, so that's why I'm extremely excited to see what happens and who wins the Cup this year. So it's going to be it's going to be tight, in my opinion. A lot of the matches could go either way right now, but Sharks versus Colorado Avalanche. This one here, the Sharks, they have a lot of great players. So does Colorado Avalanche. The Sharks, 
I know people are going to hate me for this, but I'm not a fan of Eric Carlson. I'm an Ottawa Senators fan, and whenever he was on Ottawa, I just, I didn't like him when he was on Ottawa. I don't like him that he's on the Sharks. I would have rathered him get traded to a team that I don't like, so I didn't really have to care about him being in the Stanley Cup playoffs ever. But the fact that he got on the Sharks, which I think have a phenomenal team, it's very possible that they will advance this year, but... My pick is going to be Colorado Avalanche just because they are a dominant team. They've been doing great things this year, and I didn't expect them to advance uh, against Calgary Flames. I thought Calgary would have knocked them out early, went the other way around. So I'm going to say Colorado Avalanche are going to win this series, not based on Eric Carlson. I'm not basing my whole pick for uh, Avalanche beating the Sharks based on Eric Carlson, but I think um, Avalanche are going to beat the Sharks. I'm going to say this one here is going to be 4-3. I think if the Sharks can go against the Vegas and make it go to the last game, I think the the Avalanche and the Sharks could go down to the last game. So it's going to be exciting to see what happens there. But like I said, 4-3 for that one. So these are my predictions for the second round of the NHL playoffs. Comment down below your predictions. Who do you think is going to advance? Do you guys agree with all of my opinions and everything I said for the second round? I know I might get heat for... Uh, Eric Carlson, that statement I just made, but it's the truth, and I don't want to lie on my channel, and I never will lie on my channel, so um, it, that, that's not why I based my pick on Avalanche. Uh, I just think Avalanche, even though the Sharks have a lot of great players this year, Martin Jones has been phenomenal. I think Colorado Avalanche, if they could beat the team that I thought was going to win the Cup this year, I think they can go really far, so... These are my picks right now. Comment down below what you guys think. I will leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.